Do you want to tell them or am I going to tell them? Are you falling asleep? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're just going to hang out and do a chatty get ready with me. So that way you guys can see, you know, my new everyday look. It's pretty much the same as it's always been with minor alterations. Um, but mostly I'm just going to be catching you guys up with why I've been gone for two months, where I've been, what I've been doing, what's new, and what you guys can expect for future videos. So, now before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to Audible for partnering with me on this video. So you can actually get your first audiobook for free within the first 30 days. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash jbunzy or text jbunzy to 500500. So what's really cool about Audible is that all you have to do is listen. So you can go on about your daily activities, like cleaning, doing homework, um, working at the office. It's just very, very convenient. And my favorite book on there thus far is The Great Gatsby, a classic. You guys know I'm obsessed with The Great Gatsby and anything vintage, so that one's a really fun one to listen to. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my new favorite foundation, the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I'm using it in the color seashell. So I haven't really been posting because, as you can see with a whole new different setup in the back, I'm not even at the same place that I usually am. Are you shaking, baby? Ooh. Wait, we're in a bad position. Okay. So I've been here in LA for two months now. Took a minute to settle down from Florida, get all my stuff over here. That was, I didn't get everything. Like I still have a lot at my parents' house, but a lot of stuff had to be shipped over to just function as a YouTuber. <laughs> I've been going to acting school too, because um, if you guys don't know, I want to like branch into acting. I've always wanted to do acting. That's kind of why my channel is the way it is with the whole um, fancy intros and stuff just because it I like doing stuff that pertains to acting so um, that's why I'm here in LA mainly just to kind of kickstart that but yeah so moving on skin's looking great we are going to use Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer love this too I got this in the color Swan and uh, I, I love how it has a wand, by the way. It's so convenient to just be like So, I'm gonna put some of that on. We are going to set this with the Dermablend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. It's just very lightly. So the next thing I'm using is the Too Faced Love Flush in the color Baby Love. This is really cute. Speaking of springtime, this has, oh, let me see. Okay, here we go. It has little bunnies on them. Like, how cute is that? All right, eyes. So the palette that I'm using is the Just Peachy Too Faced Matte. It's good for the springtime, just those kind of warm tones. So I'm gonna grab the peach cobbler. That's usually the color I've been grabbing lately. And maybe the peach meringue or the peach butter for the lid, we'll see. Um, but I'm just gonna grab a little fluffy brush like that. And start with the peach cobbler. And work it into my crease. But yeah, I'm having fun here. I'm really happy to be here. I do miss my dog, though. I really, really do. Oh, and by the way, I'm grabbing the peach meringue onto my eyes, just like a white. Um, I do miss my dog. I FaceTimed him a few times, and he was all, like, confused, trying to look for me in the rooms because he heard my voice. It was so sad. Um, but my parents are taking care of him, and he's happy. He's well-fed and stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much all I do for the eyes. Very simple. I'm going to move on and get the Sigma eyeliner, which is a gel eyeliner. I don't recommend this actually for uh, any hot weather because it just drips everywhere because it's gel. But it's good for when it's chilly and it's chilly right now, so I'm going to be using this. 
So a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm going to be going to Dapper Day, and the answer is officially yes. I prefer to go on off days where there's not a lot of people, but then I found the cutest dress, and I can't just wear that dress on a normal Disney day as a Disney bound because it's very like out there. I mean, it's not that out there. Um, you'll see. I'll show you guys. Make sure you stay tuned on my Instagram because I'll be posting pictures of the day and the outfit and all that stuff but um if you guys don't know what dapper day is by the way it's basically uh, a day where people go in like these really cute vintage outfits and often in the style of a character so it's a cute little prom dress it goes down to about mid calf length and it's the perfect perfect pink and it fits me perfectly so I was really excited when I found it and I was like this would be perfect for Princess Aurora my hair is blonde it's working perfectly let's go to Dapper Day <laughs> that was my critical thinking there that's how I decided if I was gonna go to Dapper Day or not um, ooh. so we're going Michael's gonna go as um, Prince Philip we still haven't found his outfit just yet but men's outfit is practically pretty much easier than women's outfits um, because they pretty much wore the same thing for many many decades like you know the suit the undershirt the slacks so um yeah I'm super excited and um, I'll be going to Disney a lot more often than just on Dapper Day so again if you want to uh, say hello be sure you do stay updated on my Instagram because that's when I post when I'm at Disney, we can meet up, hang out, say hello, take pictures. Now the mission is to make this one look like this one. Wish me luck. <laughs> Moving on to eyebrows. I'm going to be using a, like a, I really need to learn the names of makeup brushes is a dang shame that I don't, because my whole channel is based on makeup, but it's a um, flat definer brush, here we go, it has a name right on it, Jessica, smooth, um, and I'm going to be using the Just Peachy palette again, but I'm going to be grabbing the Chocolate Dipped, which is a neutral brown, and just filling it in. Um, I always use eyeshadow for eyebrow steps because it gives a softer look. How did I even get eyeliner in my hairline? When did that happen? Oh, it's getting What's happening? What is this? What no exactly? Oh my god. <laughs> How did this happen? It's just getting worse the more I touch it. What? Hey, we'll blend it in, we'll blend it in. That's what we're gonna do. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so jumping back to my eyes now that my eyebrows are defined and I can kind of see my face a little better. I am going to grab Fresh Picked, no, let's go a little darker today, I'm going to grab Peach Tart, which is a chocolate brown, and I'm going to line my lower lash line, and I'm super excited about doing this because when I had the red hair, if I did that, it would look a little bit too kind of punkish for me, so I never like defined my uh, bottom lash line, but now that I have more of a soft color, that kind of works with it, I can do it and it's super cute and I like the way it looks so that's another, that's a new thing that I've added to my makeup routine. Other than that it's pretty much the same makeup that I've done. So next I'm going to be grabbing the Great Lash Maybelline New York, the classic and just putting it on. I just really like how it doesn't clump. I mean, you have to put on a couple layers to really benefit from it, but it's so worth it. 
It always looks good. Also, update on my grave disease. I know I haven't updated you guys for a minute. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I look pretty good, I feel pretty good. Um, before, my throat was like super swollen here and now it's looking pretty normal. I'm not really feeling tired or anything like that anymore. Um, I feel pretty close to normal. Not 100%, but definitely plenty enough to function. So, I have these new set of lipsticks that I'm completely obsessed with because they look really vintage and the colors are on point. Um, let me show you. They look super classy and vintage. I'm obsessed. So they come in these colors, which is pretty much all the colors that I wear. Pink and red and a nude here and there. Um, but they smell so good. They smell like cupcakes and the color is just perfect. So today I'm going to go for, um, which one should I go for? I'm not sure. Let's start off with this color, this pink here. And then if I don't like it, I'll switch it to a red. Because I'm trying to do more of a spring fresh look today. Um, but I don't want to look too pink, so we'll see. Oh, I like this. So we're going to go with it. I like it. Um, I might add a little bit more blush though, just a little bit. Um, that way I don't look washed out or that's maybe the camera. No, it's real life. Do, 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 do. do you want to tell them or am I going to tell them? Are you falling asleep? <laughs> well, I am officially coming out with merch, finally. <laughs> I know I, you guys have been wanting merch for a little while now, um, and I'm finally going to be coming out with a bunny themed, like a J-Bunny bunny themed line. Um, I'm going to have them in black, I'm also going to have them in pink, so there's going to be different colors for everybody, and I'm super excited. It's really cute and really comfy, um, and eventually I want to come out with more stuff, but this is kind of just like the beginning, you know? So um, when it drops, I'll let you guys know. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. All right, so for my bangs, I think I'm just going to do my typical curly bang and leave the rest of the hair as it is. So I've got my little straightener. This is the Uberless Titanium Ultra Pro Flat Iron. The best flat iron I've ever used in my life. So good, not spots. Um, but yeah, so this is how my bangs are without any styling. It's just straight cut goes right about my nose and then I have the other side short as well to kind of match these two pieces so I'm just going to brush it out like that and then roll it in cool I'm so glad I cut bangs because before I used to make fake bangs. If you guys remember when I had the red hair, it was just kind of like long hair tucked back because I was afraid to cut it, but I'm so glad I did. I really enjoy this a lot more. Um, so this will be definitely a staple from now on. Okay, so that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I have a little clip in the back to kind of pull it back a little bit, but that's all I'm doing. Just a nice, easy hairstyle. It's crazy what bangs can like, like the difference bangs make. Obsessed. Um, but yeah, we are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned by subscribing. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more uh, celebrity and cartoon makeup transformation, which I'm super excited about. Um, and stay tuned on my second channel because that's where I post vintage stuff and vlogs and all that other stuff. So make sure you follow both my channels. Check out my Instagram, my Twitter. I'll link them all right here. 
um, and I'll link them down below. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.